Yeah, this is the stable Kindle Fire Jelly Bean port. <clears throat> I had a video before that wasn't so stable that it was pointless to have, but this one has Wi-Fi working, which is probably like the mo the most necessary thing for a Kindle Fire, clearly. I already flashed, wiped, and installed it. Didn't feel like going through that fucking process again. The cool thing about this ROM first, let me look at the show you the ROM version and everything. Um, it's the CM10 unofficial version, but the cool thing about this is that um you can change the type of thing it is. Like, see this tablet mode at the bottom? You can switch it to regular phone mode. It's gonna reboot the UI, and everything goes to the top, so you can keep it like a phone. Pretty cool, but I mean. This is basically, it's not my Kindle, it's from my mother, so I don't think she would like this. It looks pretty ugly, if you ask me, but fuck it. But yeah, you can switch between those two. You can swap where the notification and the buttons are, like, see how the back, home, and recents are there? You can switch them. That's basically about it. It has Wi-Fi work, and I just never connected it. But I don't feel like connecting that right now. And that's basically it. It works. It's at stock 1.2. You can go to. That's as high as it goes. <clears throat> but. You can go back to, if you don't like 1.2, you can go to 1.08, but that's basically it. I just wanted to show us that it's stable and it works now. That's about it.